Nokia tutorial from Nokia HQ. Today's tutorial is going to be a quick and simple one, however, quite helpful for some people because what we're going to show you today is how to change the, the design of the banner that you get in Bubble when you update your application. Uh, you probably all know what I'm talking about if you're building with Bubble any kind of app. Uh, as soon as you make any sort of change in your dev version or you deploy your version to live, the current user in the page or on the page will get a notification. So let's just let's take a look at that. So for example, we're right now in our um, index page here in Bubble. We have just this text te testing. And as soon as uh, when I move or change something, add something or just drag this down a bit, we get this um, banner here at the top always in Bubble, which says we just updated this page. Please refresh the page to get the latest version. Um, this banner um, is helpful because it shows users they have to refresh the page because they can save or make database changes uh, without refreshing first. Um, but to be honest, the branding and maybe also the wording doesn't always uh, fit to the UI of your application. Uh, maybe you want to change the color, um, you want to change the font size, or you want to maybe for some reasons just hide this completely uh, because there's no real data manipulation inside your app and you don't always want to every user to get informed um, when you're pushing updates. So let's assume um, a user is, uh, or users are on your page during the day and you push an update, everyone in th at the same time will get this banner, which um, may yeah seem a bit unprofessional um, and you might want to ch uh, change that. So let's take a look at how to do this. And the first thing I want to show you, which is the easiest thing, is just changing the wording of this. And you you'll be able to do this under settings and then going to languages, all right? And then you will have to find this message here. Um, we can just check that here and search for it on the page. So we just updated it and you can see it here. This is the, um, yeah, the message that is shown when the app has been updated and the user should refresh. You can just um, change this message here however you like. I'm just gonna maybe um, remove this last part here, okay? So it's a bit shorter. Um, and now only this here um, will be shown. And this is the message that is shown on phone. So you can also change the message here and have different messages if you want to do that. All right, so now uh, to the next step is how to actually change the design of this or actually hide this completely. So unfortunately, there's no direct way in Bubble to do this, but uh, we have a small trick for you that you can use um, in order to manipulate this. This will require a bit of coding, but it's really simple. It's just simple CSS, and we're gonna sh show you all the code you need so you can just copy what we're doing here because this whole banner has a specific class that Bubble has given it, and we can kind of uh, intervene using CSS and then target this class and then make changes to it, okay? So what I'm gonna start off with, I'm just gonna simply search for an element. I'm gonna drag, uh, choose the HTML element, just drag it onto the page. You have two options here now. Either you can do it this way and put the code into here. This won't be visible on the page itself. It's just code that is added. Or you head over to settings, um, SEO slash meta tags, and you add the same code that we're gonna uh, add now here under script in the body. Um, but this will require a paid plan and this will also be applied on every page. With this, uh, with this code, a piece here you can just manipulate the current page maybe you want to have different styles or settings for different pages then go with this tactic otherwise you can just put the code in here all right so what we want to do we just want to add one style setting and we're simply going to do that by adding the style brackets here in html like this so open and close style all right and then we're going to add the name of the class in this case or in all cases of bubble apps this is just called bad revision so you want to have a, a full stop bad slash revision. I have no idea why it's called that, but um, yeah, that's just the way it is. Then you want to have curly brackets, open and close them, and then just add a space. And now basically you can add all kinds of CSS settings you want here. We're going to show you a few examples. However, um, there's a lot you can do, and I would recommend taking a look at something like uh, W3Schools, which is a really great site, and they have all the CSS properties here. Um, or almost all, I, I guess, that you can change and, and yeah, um, add custom codes to change the design. So for example, border left, and then they give you examples on what you can set there. So you could, as you can see, it's the same structure. We have the curly brackets. And then what you wanna do is add these um, CSS properties. Uh, and again, I'm gonna show you a few examples. So the first one, maybe probably one of the most important one 
is going to be visibility. Okay, so we're going to just add that. So visibility. Okay, like this. And then you want to just set that to hidden. And to be completely sure, I'm just going to add an exclamation uh, mark important. This will just mean that this is strictly enforced. Okay, then you want to close that. And that's basically it. We're now telling um, this, yeah, this class uh, that it should be hidden. All right, so the visibility is hidden. And now what happens is let's just refresh this page now. This banner won't be shown at all if we make a change. So let's drag this around and add a button here. Go back and you can see nothing is displayed here. There's also nothing that is clickable here. Everything seems normal despite us having made changes. Obviously, you can now refresh the site again and the changes will be implemented, but your users won't have this uh, banner and won't be annoyed by it. And um, again, I'm changing stuff here and the banner is completely gone. All right. So again, might be really helpful if you have a site where not a lot of data handling is happening or um, it's more static and there's just yeah content. Um, I really don't see the necessity for this banner in these sort of cases. It actually disrupts the UI, I think, in, in a way. Um, but of course, that's not always the case. Um, sometimes it is quite helpful or in many cases. And in these cases, you maybe want to change design. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to remove this again and I'm going to add a few um, yeah, basically a few um, uh, CSS properties here as an example. So for example, what we can do, we can change the font size. Okay, so you're simply going to write font slash size and you're going to set it to, let's make it bigger. Let's make it 24 pixels. Okay, so let's take a look at how that looks now. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page now. And let's make a change again. And we can see, all right, um, you recognize the banner, but you can already see the font size is much bigger. Um, whether or not this looks nice now, that's up to you. I'm just showing you uh, this as a demo, uh, as a demonstration. All right. You can uh, do a lot of things as well. You can now change the font weight. You could even set the font family. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set the background color actually of this whole banner. Um, this might be important if you want to have a consistent UI. So background color. Um, and then I'm just going to add something from my color picker here. So maybe let's have it, I don't know, royal blue. I'm just going to copy the RGB code. Okay. And let's set that like this. Okay. And close that. Let's take a look at how that looks now. Refresh that and um, let's make a change again. All right. Um, I like that. The blue looks good. So you see that works fine. Um, we can now go ahead and change the font color if you want to do that. Um, so let's try that. That's just the color property. Let's set that to, um, what is it right now? It's white, so let's make it have it black. Like this, okay. Um, let's try to see how that looks now. Okay, now it's black. I liked it the way it was before in white, but um, you get what I mean. You could also even um, change the positioning of this. You can change the width of this, the height. So what we could also do, for example, is just go ahead here and uh, as a background color, we could just write transparent. Okay. And then this would be completely transparent. So let's take a look at that. Maybe also interesting for you. So let's make a change. Yep, um, you can see now this is uh, cl clickable basically um, without a background color and stays at the top. So again, a lot of different um, possibilities you have here. Take a look at this website as well to see or get an idea of what what kinds of things you can change. But I, I think you get the basic, um, yeah, the basic gist of it. Um, and that's basically it. Um, um, a quick and easy way to modify your Bubble application and to maybe adjust this banner to, uh, according to your needs, according to your U UI, and just offer a better user experience to users. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCageKey. Bye.